Meet my never lucky Iron Man, forks only, no spoons allowed here. After maxing my main, and nearly maxing my Iron Man, I wanted to try something new. RuneScape with getting unlucky on every grind in the game. If I get any drop before the drop rate, I can't use or keep it. Valuable items will periodically be given out to viewers and subs. My goal is to complete the Inferno, and I'm not going to stop there. Please subscribe to my only forks. I, I mean, forks only. What is up gamers, Fcast and Chill here. So, if you remember in my last episode I mentioned that I need some Barrows equipment to get to the Inferno, and so I'm just going to jump right into it and do some Barrows. So, what I need to do is I need to get 350 Barrows kill count. And my reason for that is if you look at the Barrows drop rate for any item, any of the unique items, if you kill all six brothers, you can see here it's a 7 out of 2448 drop rate. Well, if you divide 7 by 2,448, you get approximately 1 in 349.7. So that means I need to get to 350 kill count before I can keep anything. So yeah, I need to do my you know first 349 kill count, killing all 6 brothers, keeping nothing, and then after that, then I can move on and keep any of these bears unique. So we're going to knock that out in one vid and show the loot we get from it. So. Here's my process for Barrows, um, it's actually like, you know, not too bad. I think I'm getting something like 10 kills an hour when I'm pretty focused. So I'm using my Mystics here, um, as well as my Dehide for ranging Aram, and then I bring in uh, my Dragon Simeon, Dragon Defender for killing some of the uh, monsters in the crypt. So you can see I first just teleport to my house and then use this Barrows portal that I built quite a while back. And then I end up here, right at Barrows. Um, and so then I just run over to Darok first and dig. I do Darok first because he's the most dangerous. Oh, well, uh, okay, I didn't end up getting to fight him first. So he's the one that's underground. So I have to fight, fight him last this time. But then I just change to my ranging gear here and burst down Aram. I'm actually one tick flicking for all of my kills just to save prayer. I'm actually trying to do all these Barrows kill counts without using a single prayer potion dose. I think I do end up using a couple just because, you know, just to be safe sometimes it, it can help. You know, you don't want to risk getting smacked by Darok for 50 plus damage when he's almost dead. But yeah, just kind of hanging out, one tick flicking, kill um, any of these guys and then just move on to the next one. Um, you can see I pick up my rune arrows there because, you know, they're hard to get for me, kind of. I don't want to have to go to, back to last man standing more than I have to. And then just kind of move on to the next guy. Again, just get him to pop out and then just one tick flick until they're dead. And so again, I'm, I'm using Ivan's Blast um, and I, I'm actually getting a ton of death runes from doing these Barrows chests. If you remember, I completed the Mauritania Hard Diary before. So that means I get 50% more runes from each Barrow's chest, and that makes it very sustainable to get plenty of death runes for this. So if you remember, the things I'm looking for from Barrow's are the Carol's top and body, as well as the Aram's top, and then the Varrox helm, because all four of those pieces are in my ultimate like Inferno setup that I plan to do on this account. But um, again, can't keep any of those until I get to 350 kill count. So, um, you know, for now, I'm just hoping I get some expensive items that I can give away to you guys, because that's really what it's about. Um, you know, for those first 350, I just want to get the most valuable stuff that we can. And I, I will say right now, we actually are going to do a giveaway um, after this episode. So the way I'm going to do that is if you are someone who comments on this video within 24 hours, of it being released, you will be entered into the giveaway. And I'm gonna give away all of the items that I have, the Barrows Uniques and the other stuff up to this point um, that I got before the drop rate. So again, you know, comment on the video. You can comment your in-game name so that I have a way to contact you, or you could join the Discord in the description link and just, you know, send a message in there to let me know what your in-game name is and I will pick someone randomly out of all the people who comment in the first 24 hours to win the giveaway. And we'll talk about that after we go through the kill count. But yeah, um, you can see here, I'm just praying protect from range against uh, Carol because he can hit pretty hard, but he should be dead now. And yeah, now I just have Guthan and Derek left. 
So uh, my prayer is pretty low, so I'm actually just going to use my arty cape to teleport back to the monastery here and then just recharge my prayer and then I can just teleport straight back to my house. So that does, you know, lose a little bit of time, but again, I don't have to use any prayer potion doses, so I'm all for it. Um, and like I said, even with tellying back occasionally like that when my prayer gets low, I'm averaging somewhere around 10 kills per hour. So for the 350 hours, that's going to be about a 35 hour grind, which, you know, in RuneScape terms, that's nothing. So um, yeah, let's get into it and just keep going. Um, you can see Guthin is almost dead here, and then I'm going to go underground and kill Darok. So there is Guthin dead, and now let's go back to Darok. So you can see I have to go into the tunnels underground here. I have a plugin here that highlights the unlocked doors in green, which is very convenient for me. Um, here also, I'm going to kill one Bloodworm and two Skeletons, each kill count. And the reason for that is if you kill one Bloodworm and two Skeletons, then it'll increase your potential percentage, if you see that over on the left, and that will make you get more runes. So it doesn't actually affect the drop rate for the unique items, but it does make the rune amounts that you get more. You don't want to kill too many monsters though, because if you kill too many, then your potential will get so high that you'll probably get bolt racks instead of just runes. So that's why I'm going to go for one blood worm and two skeletons each kill count, since that's the perfect amount. And I'm just whiffing on the skeleton, but hopefully he'll die um, any second now. Let's see. There we go. And you can see I'm actually, my prayer's running pretty low, which is a bit scary because I'm going to have to fight Darak after. I think Darak max hit is 57 when he's down to 1 HP, so he can't totally one-shot me, but it's still very scary. But um, there we go, so now I got my two skeletons as well as the Bloodworm. And one thing I can do here to manipulate Darok is I can actually just run back and forth through one of these doors here until he spawns. And once he does that, then I should be able to safe spot him. And I've actually marked the safe spots with those black squares, um, the highlighted tiles you see there. So hopefully I can get Darok to spawn here in just a second. Sometimes it doesn't happen because it gets flooded with others. Okay, there he is. So now I'm just going to run behind this black tile here and he'll come right up. And then I'm just going to mage him down with Ivan's Blast. And it's totally safe here. Um, should be fine. So that's really it for the kill count. You just go around to all the crypts, kill all six brothers, and then open the chest in the middle. Um, not super exciting um you know it's kind of like your first foray into bossing and pvm in this game so it's not the most exciting stuff but you know some of the items you can get are very useful and so that's why i'm gonna be hanging out here for a while but anyway yeah let's go ahead and get into it see what this chest gets me and then we will rush through and do all 350 and see what we get so this one got some runes but nothing too exciting and I can just teleport out. Um, if my run energy is a bit low, I'll use a Ring of Dueling to come back to the Ferox Enclave and drink from the Pool of Refreshment, because you can see this will actually restore all my health, prayer, and run energy instantly. So very useful. Um, and if my run energy isn't too low, then I'll just teleport out to the Monastery to replenish my prayer that way. But yeah, let's, let's get into the kill counts and see what I get. All right, and here's the slideshow starting. So you can see just getting a bunch of runes initially. Um, some coins here and there too, which is nice because that'll cover my fire runes that I'm using from Ivan's Blast. And I accidentally got some bolt racks on one of those because I got too much potential, but that's all good. And you can see here at 17 kill count, I got my first unique and it is a Varix Brassard. So um, that's something not worth a whole lot, maybe about 200k, but um, yeah, first unique, kind of cool. Then here's 20 kill count getting up there got my second unique here it's actually another varix brasser it's kind of funny um that's all right i'm just gonna keep going and then you can see here at 29 i got an aram's hood so that's another one still not worth a ton but that's all right still going and then at 36 i got another aram's hood this is kind of weird getting a lot of dupes and you wouldn't really expect that early on because there's 24 different items but it's okay, we'll just keep going. You can see I'm just getting a ton of runes from this. Uh, there's Torag's Hammers. It's another pretty uh, cheap one, not too useful, but that's all right. And there's the first 50 kill count done. Let's just keep going along. Just 
getting lots of runes. Like you can actually tell my blood rune stack is really climbing high and that's actually amazing because, oh, there's Carol's crossbow. Okay, well, I'll take it, 61. But um, as my blood rune stack gets higher, you know, that's gonna be so good for later for barraging. Um, oh, there's another thing, there's Varax flail. Um, yeah, another unique, not too useful. I I'm really hoping to get some Aram's top or bottom or Carol's top or bottom because those really sell for a lot and that'd be a good giveaway. We're now up to 75 and there is a Derex plate body. So that's actually a pretty good one. Um, I think it's worth about a million GP. So that's a, that's a pretty nice find. Still just moving along here and still just getting lots more runes. And there's a Guthin's War Spear at 84. So um, yeah, getting a good amount of uniques actually. N none of the good ones yet, uh, but yeah, it's it's going pretty well. I'd say, um, I think on average, you're expected to get a unique one in 14 or 15 chests. So something like that. So I'd say we're about average luck so far, maybe a little above average. And there is 100 kill count. So it's looking good, it's still going well. Just getting lots more runes. I I'm actually really excited about my blood and death rune stacks just continuing to climb. And there is Guthin's chain skirt, so it's another piece of Guthin's. Nice to have. Let's just keep going. I'm just getting more and more runes. This is really showing that Mauritania hard diary that I completed paying dividends here. So my I'm just getting so many more runes than I would have otherwise. And there's 120. Um, and there's another Guthin's War Spear at 121, so that's another duplicate. But that's alright, we're just gonna keep on going. And yeah, um, still just watching the rune stack climb up. And up to, oh, there's another Aram Staff, okay, 133, not bad. And still going along, still watching my rune stacks climb. I'm actually getting a lot of good XP here too. I've gotten a couple magic levels already, um, which is going to be super useful. I know um, I want to get my magic up a lot higher um, for Song of the Elves, among other things. And there's 150 chests, so we're really getting up there. Um, you know, 200 more to go. Just going to keep knocking them out. Um, I've been trying to do these fairly quickly, like 20 or 30 a day at least, which is a little boring, but you know, it's it's all good. I'm, I'm, I just love watching my rune stacks climb up, so I'm not complaining too much. On a little bit of a dry streak right now from Uniques, but hopefully we'll get one soon. And there's 175, so we are now halfway to the 350 mark, so getting up there. And just more and more runes. More runes. Yep, still more runes. Pretty dry of any uniques. Oh, and there we go, it's finally broken. There's another Verox Flail. Unfortunately, that's another duplicate and it's pretty cheap. But that's okay, I'm just gonna keep on going. Coming up on 200 now, and oh, okay, here is a dupe chest. So you can see I actually got both of the Torags and the Guthans helmets there. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Pretty neat stuff. And there's the big 200 after that. So that's nice. Um, so I'm actually taking a break from showing you the loot here because I actually got an insane drop while I was doing this. I got a skeleton champion scroll. So that's incredibly rare. I think that's a one in 5,000, I believe. Yeah, and that that's from any skeleton in the game. So. That's pretty insane to get one on this account. I I do need to drop it. I tried picking it up and examining it. It's not tradable though, and I can't alk it, so I can't give it to you guys. So I'm just gonna leave it on the ground there and move on, I guess. Um, pretty sad, I've, I've never even gotten one of the skeleton champion scrolls on any of my other accounts, but that's okay. I mean, this account, not allowed to get spooned on anything, so definitely can't keep that guy. Um, I'm nowhere near 5,000 skeletons killed, so we're just gonna move on and keep going. And back at it, you can see we're a little over 200 now, so still just moving along nicely, getting a bunch of runes, and still just watching these rune stacks climb higher and higher. My magic level is also going up more and more. You can see I'm actually at 83 right here. I, I was, I believe, 81 when I started, so 
I already got a couple levels and I think I should get 84 by the time I make it to the 350 chests. So there is 225 and still, okay, there's another Guthans War Spear right there. So that's another duplicate. Um, found a couple of those so far, but you know, every little bit helps. So I'm not too upset about getting more things to give away to you guys. Again, um, here's a Torag's Hammers again, another dupe, but still nice to see. As for the runes and money, um, so those actually, the drop rate is very, very high for those, so I'm not giving any of those away. I'm essentially able to keep them all. But, um, oh, here's Varex Plate Skirt. Okay, 241 there. So just getting more uniques here, seeing how things are going along. Almost 250. And there's the big 250, got some more runes there. And now just 100 left to go. And I will show the full um, the full log of all 350 kill count after this. But there is a Carol's top, so or the Carol's helm. Sorry, don't want to get you too excited. The Carol's top will be a nice find, but yeah, the helm not so much. But still, just another item to give away. And back to just getting more runes. And now we can see I'm coming up on 270 here still not too many uniques i've been kind of not getting very many after i hit like 200 after that double chest my you know luck hasn't been too great but it's all good we're just still moving along more and more runes and there's another verox flail i believe that's my third so a little unfortunate that I'm getting so many dupes of these really cheap items. But it's still exciting. I mean, any drop is exciting. Oh, and here we go, 292. I got a Carol Leather Top. So this guy right here, you can see it's worth about 1.6 or 1.7 million. That's really exciting. That, so this is my first actually good item that I've gotten. And, you know, this is one that I really do want to keep for myself, but I don't have the 350 kill count, so it's a little unfortunate to get it pretty soon before that, but it's alright. Um, I'm, I'm excited now, I have one valuable item to give away to you guys, but um, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get this one again after the 350 fairly quickly, because again, this is one that I really want for myself. But anyway, let's let's get back to the kill counts. And so we're picking back up here, coming up on the big 300 almost there I'm still just stacking up these runes and there we go there's the 300 kills so just 50 more I, I can see the end in sight it's almost there but I'm, I'm actually having fun I don't know if it's Stockholm syndrome or what but doing all these barrows chests just knowing I can't keep any of the unique items is a good time and there's another Guthans legs so that's another duplicate I'll have to give away to you guys um, just a little under 40 more to go and we will be done soon so more runes there's 320 30 left so almost there and 20 left still not getting much but, oh, 339, there is a Derox Great Axe. That's another pretty good one. Um, you can see the chest there is worth about 1.5 mil. So yeah, most of that's coming from the Great Axe here. You can see it's worth, yeah, pretty much 1.55 mil. Um, that's actually really nice. That That's not one that I really want on this account at all anyway. It doesn't really matter to me and I'm happy to give that away to you guys. So that's, that's another good find. Um, definitely happy with that let's just go ahead and get back to it and finish up the 350 because we're so close and there is another guthans war spear at 344 i think that's my fourth which is a little insane to get four of the same one in 350 but that's it and now we're at 349 and coming up on our 350 just walking up here to let's see you got to fight torag right here I'm just gonna sit here and Ivan's blast him down. You can see I'm wearing my dragon hide here because it actually raises my defense a lot, which helps out um, instead of my mystics. And Torag is one that has such low 
um, magic defense that my accuracy is still extremely high with the dragon hide. But um, yeah, just ready to kill this guy off and then tap that chest and see if I get anything for number 350. And then now that I will be at 350, I'm going to be able to keep any of the items I get from here on out. So I'm definitely going to need to do a lot more barrows to get what I want. But that's it for now. And there's chest 350. No, no unique, never lucky there. But that is all right. I, I've you know, completed the 350 kill count. Now let's look at the total loot. So first, here's my collection log here, and you can see I have a ton of items. If we count them up, that is going to be 24 unique items, which actually I think is right on drop rate. I think you're expected to get 24 um, it, with the 350 kill count. So kind of cool that I got about average luck here, and Maybe not average on which items I got. I feel like I got more of the less valuable ones. You know, no Arams, top or bottom, and only one of the Carols, top and bottom, which is a little unfortunate. But, you know, um, yeah, pretty nice. And then you can see here, this is my drop log. So it's actually the total GE value is about 22 million. And you can see most of that's actually coming from the runes. I got over 40,000 death runes. Which, you know, I used a lot of those in the Ivan's Blasts going through, but I still got a pretty big profit of death runes. Um, I think I, it looks like I have about 26k left over. So that's really nice. Uh, tons of chaos and blood runes as well. And then I got about almost 400k in raw GP. Um, so yeah, really nice. Uh, this is the total log. Again, you know, if you're looking to do something to make money, 22 mil in 35 hours isn't too good. I, I guess if you're a low level and just want to do some barrows because it's fun, it can be good. Um, and you know, if you're a higher level, you can definitely get more than 10 kills per hour. But yeah, that's about it. And then you can see this tab here. This is everything that I have for my giveaway. Um, and you can see that the GE value of it is 10.8 million. However, that's not quite right because one of those three gout tubers is actually mine to keep. It just stacks in my bank here. So that's about 550k. So. You know, I got a little bit over 10 million to give away. So that's really the next step. Um, you know, again, comment on this video if you want to be one of the people entered in that giveaway. Uh, will be a little over 10 million GP or, you know, whatever's left once I sell all of this. So I'm going to drop it all to my main, sell it at the GBE, and then one lucky winner that I will select with a random number generator is going to get it all. So again, comment on the video within the first 24 hours and you will be entered. And you know, if you liked this video and want to see more, I have some more similar loot videos, not necessarily on this account coming. Or if you want to see more of the hardcore series, you know, definitely feel free to drop me a subscribe and like the video. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And um, you know, I just recently hit 1K subscribers. So really thanks for that. I really appreciate the support and hopefully I can keep growing. But yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. And I'll be back soon with more content. All right, bye.